Hello there. This is for you. It's for love. Sam! What are you doing here? What if someone finds out about this? Don't worry, honey, cause no one will. Where's my boyfriend? Has anyone seen Sam? Sam! <laughs> Sam! <gasps> Anya is here! Come on, just go! Sam, no one can see us together and you know it. <sighs> I miss you already, gorgeous. I'll see you after the game. I'm over here. <sighs> Come get your cold drinks. Get them before watching the best game ever. My daughter is a cheerleader and today she'll be cheering for her boyfriend, the basketball player. Mm, great. Mm, yeah, she's gorgeous. I'll give you that. And she is... <laughs> she's my youngest daughter, Brittany. <laughs> I am Anya's sister. It was about time. Ugh. What the heck? What did you do that for? Where were you? I'm sorry, I was practicing a little bit. Um, well, I like to give you a big kiss for good luck. Hello. Sam, what's the matter? Don't you want to kiss me anymore? Hmm? Sam, what's wrong with you? Oh, the match is about to start. Uh, well, I have to go now. I wonder what's wrong with him. Ooh, here we go. Ooh. Baby girl, I'll take lots of pictures of you. Sis, you can do it. Get the heck out of here. That's my spot. Get lost. Ah. Anya! <laughs> yeah, this is bad. It's been five years and this young lady is still in a coma. Dr. Oscar, you made a promise. You say that if this young lady couldn't recover on her own, you would help her out. I think you're right, Emma. No need to wait for miracles. We have to save this young lady. <sighs> Let's hope it actually works. Why isn't it working? It seems to be taking even longer than expected. She should be fully awake by now. <gasps> ah! I woke up with the strangest feeling ever. Mommy, what the heck is wrong with you? Brittany, it's time to wake up. Mom, that's enough. Let me sleep. <sighs> Please get up already. We have to go see your sister today. What's the matter now? It's always the same with her. Anya is just sleeping. Now let me go back to bed. But Brittany... Hello, Dr. Oscar. What? This can't be true. Brittany! What the heck is so important? Anya is awake. That's awesome! Bon, bon appétit, appétit, little, little girl. girl! I'm so hungry, I could eat an elephant! I suspect this is a side effect of the turning. Of course! This girl has already become a true vampire! <laughs> and her appetite is gonna be ten times more powerful! Darling! Oh, I think your family arrived! Bon appétit, missy! Thank you! Is that it? I'm freaking starving here! <laughs> My daughter! I'm so glad to see you, Mom! Um, you're squishing me! I missed you so much, my darling. I've waited ages for this moment. Mom, you don't need to be so intense. Besides, how's the family? I'll admit it, I also kind of miss you too, big sis. Huh? Sister? Mom? Who is she? What do you mean, who is she? She's your little sister. Little? Why are her legs like bigger than my whole body? Your little sister grew up while you were in a coma. In a coma? And how many days was I in a coma? Days? 
You're hilarious. It's been five years. This can't be happening. And I don't like the way that I look, Mom. Pass me a mirror. Sweetie, maybe you shouldn't. Mom, I told you to give me a mirror right now. <laughs> All right. Here you go. Sister, I just had the worst nightmare. What? I didn't hear a word. Uh, uh, it wasn't a dream. Brittany, what the heck is going on? Yes, seems you got a little big. Brittany, Anya, daughter, don't listen to her. Uh, mommy. You've only put on a couple of pounds. There's nothing wrong with that. I cheerleader how am i supposed to fit into my cheerleading outfit huh? did you lose your freaking mind while you were in a coma or did you wake up with some kind of brain damage what daughter what britney's trying to say is that your old classmates are now in college not in high school oh, and i and you are just a loser britney anya don't you worry i'll take you to college when you feel ready First, we need to take care of your health, sweetie. Where does Sam study? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Didn't you talk to him when he came to visit me at the hospital? Ah, huh? is she talking about her boyfriend who is now dating her sworn enemy? Britney. What? Yes, Sam and Susie are dating now. <gasps> what was that? It must be some side effect. Hold on, we have to call the doctor ASAP. That's right, Dr. Oscar. I'm hearing you, Miss Chloe, but I have to go. I'm about to give a lecture to the med student. Uh, good morning, Mr. Oscar. Um, how are you feeling today? Thank you, Susie. I'm feeling great. Do you know relationships are forbidden within the walls of this university? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. That won't happen again, sir. Uh, we're sorry. I can smell them nearby. Oh, let go of me! Stop! You're not going to hurt anyone! That means a lot coming from the doctor who beat me in the first place! Um, shut up! I had no other choice! I needed to save your life! You didn't even bother asking me! Here! This is gonna be your meal for today! Don't you dare bite anyone, got it? And have you told mommy about my special condition? Did you tell her her daughter is now a vampire? That info must remain a secret. It is for your own safety and for mine as well. Alright, then you'll have to get me into this college. What? This is a medical college and it's not easy to get admitted. My ex-boyfriend studies here and he's dumb. He barely knows how to read a word. Mm, okay. But if you ever bite someone here... Don't worry, I'll hide my pretty fangs so no one will suspect a thing. Let's hide here from teacher Oscar. Besides, he will never set foot inside the gym. Jeez, I haven't played basketball in a long time. You never touch a basketball again after what happened to her, right? Uh, you could say that. Anya was put into a coma because of me. I'll never forgive myself. Darling. I'd never forgive myself either for having a relationship with my ex's rival. Who is this? Are you blind, Susie? Anya? <laughs> Did you recover from the coma? I can't believe how fat you got. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Susie? What's going on here, Anya? Let go of me! Anya, leave her alone! I guess I know the whole truth now. Because of you, my entire life was ruined. And I'm really sorry, it was an accident. <gasps> and it seems that you looked for a replacement immediately, sweetheart. It was you who was the third wheel, did you get it? What did you say? Susie, don't do it, keep your mouth shut. Sam started dating me before you went into a coma. He always loved me, that's a fact. So I'm the one he loves, do you get it? That is nonsense, you're just jealous of me. Me? Jealous of you? <laughs> Honey, go get a mirror right now. Oh, that's right, you're too fat to fit in it. Well, let's go, sweetheart, let's go now. I'm sorry. 
Jeez, it seems like Sam actually took me for a complete idiot. So he was hanging around me while he was dating some other girl in another town. That guy is a jerk and he should be punished for what he did. Is that girl over there crying? Nobody loves me. <laughs> I know her. She's the girl from the hospital where I do my internship. Hey, what's up? I am well. I know what can help you. Mike, make him a bloody cocktail. Yes, of course. Bloody? Do you know what I am? That's right. You're a vampire, just like Dr. Oscar. I'm his nurse, and he's Mike. And I work here, and Dr. Oscar trusts me. Here you go. Well, thank you. Wait there. I know you. Anya? Yeah, I'm Anya. And you? I used to work in the cafeteria at your school, but you probably don't remember me. <laughs> uh, I had a huge glasses and a weird hat. It's true. Come get your drinks. Get them here before watching the best game. Now I remember you. What is going on? Nothing important. Anya, tell me, who hurt you so much? My ex-boyfriend, and now I want to get even with him. Oh, maybe you shouldn't. That's not good. <sighs> Do it. Guys who hurt women need to be put in their place. Mm, all right. You know, I was also hurt by a guy. Really? What did he do to you? He dated me and a student at the same time. That sounds awful. Yes, we have to take revenge. Maybe I should have warned Emma that Anya's ex-boyfriend is Sam. I wonder, what will the girls do when they find out they both have the same ex-boyfriend? Right, What's going on? Now, Brittany? On Brittany? <sighs> Why are you screaming, Brittany? I thought you were listening to loud music. Let me, Mom. In case you forgot, you have two daughters now. I didn't forget, but I have to see Anya. Well, I can help you look for it. One, two, now lower. And a squat. Come on, you can do it. Uh, Oh, enough. I can't take it anymore. What's going on? Is that nurse Emma? Why is she at my house? Did my sister get sick again? No, Anya and I work out. I want to get revenge on my ex-boyfriend and Emma is going to help me. She's an excellent friend. What revenge, girls? Please don't be silly and go to bed. Good night, girls. Well, 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 so you decided to take revenge on Sam? Is your ex-boyfriend's name Sam? That's right. Why are you surprised to know his name? Because that is the name of the guy who used to date me and that other girl, also named Sam. Unbelievable! So they're both trying to get revenge on the same guy? How funny! Can't believe it. No, it's probably a coincidence. Wait there, Emma. Um, don't you have a picture of Sam? Yes, I got it. It's him and his current girlfriend, Susie. I can't believe it. It's funny. I thought it only happened in the movies. Well, I'm going to sleep now. It's too late to talk about this. Wait, Brittany! What? I know who can help us plan a great revenge. And who? Emma, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yes. Why are they looking at me in a strange way? Brittany? Brittany? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing to me? Girls! <laughs> Sam, what are you doing there? Oh, Susie, are you here already? Well, n nothing. I was just sending a message to my mother. She was asking me about my studies. Well, look at me, or I'm going to get very jealous. Believe me, honey. There's no reason to feel that jealousy. Good morning, students. Are you all here? Almost the entire group has left for internships, professor. Emma's taking her time. I'd better give her a call. And do you have her number? Yeah, she's my classmate. I don't like that answer.
Good morning. Oh, whoa. Sam, get up! What the hell happened to you? Ugh, my blood pressure just dropped. <clears throat> Emma, you remember our uniform, don't you? Yes, of course. It's just that someone stole my stuff. I think the girls did it as a joke. So listen, this is a warning to you. But tomorrow I do want to see you in your uniform. No problem. Hi, Sam. Uh, uh, hello. Don't look at her. I did not see it. Uh, by the way, there's a new girl at the university. A new girl? And who is this girl? I don't like these new ones. I'm sorry I'm late, Dr. Oscar. You? What the heck is going on? I tried to find my uniform, but I don't think they moved all my stuff. It's impossible to teach classes like this. Students get distracted. See you tomorrow. Well, that's good. It is not only the students who are distracted, but also the teacher. Sam, I'm here. Or are you lost? I was just thinking. Hello, Anya. So you lost weight? Well done, but I'm not happy to hear it. I'm not surprised. By the way, you look awful today. Hey, you! Girls, calm down, please. I think we should all be friends. What? After all, we have something in common. You guys hang out and I'm going to get something to eat. <sighs> Shopping? I thought we were going to lunch. That's what you like the most, isn't it, Anya? No, I'm on a diet now. Well, I have to control myself in case my ex wants to meet me. He will not. Calm down, girls. I see you're both in a very bad mood. I suggest we buy some pajamas and have a pajama party. What are you saying? I would rather spend the whole night with my boyfriend than with her. Our feeling is mutual. Listen, Susie, we need to talk. There's a lot of things you don't know about Sam. We want to tell you the whole truth. As far as I can see, you just want Sam and me to break up. It's not going to happen. Enough, I'm tired of you. You will come to the party with us. And you will listen to everything we're going to say. Uh, okay, let's go to the party and I'll listen to you carefully. That's better. I forgot you have those vampire powers. But it's a good thing you are now. <sighs> I will listen to everything they tell me. Hi, Mike. Hi, Sam. Are you looking for Susie? You make a perfect couple. No, today I'm going to see a very different person. Paul, I'm going to ask you to keep it a secret, okay? Ah, I get it. You want to surprise Susie. Okay, I'll take care of it. I won't say a word to her. Thanks, buddy. I think she's here. looks much better than in the photos. Um, hi, it's Sam, right? Uh, hello, you're much more beautiful in person. Sit down, let's get to know each other better. Something's not right. Also, this girl looks like she's his new girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Sam is up to his tricks again, cheating on Susie. I think I'll send this photo to Emma. <laughs> How handsome you are! Yes, just as we planned. Girls, where are you? This is going to be the best sleepover ever! Woohoo! Tonight is bestest night! Woohoo! <laughs> Take this! <laughs> now it's your turn! <laughs> it's a double attack! <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the girls have realized that friendship is much more important than a stupid guy. <laughs> hey, let's get something to eat, girls. Oh yeah, that sounds awesome. I'm going to get something tasty while you girls catch up to speed. 
Listen, I think I owe you an apology for everything. <sighs> yes, we had a dumb fight at high school, but that doesn't mean I had the right to steal your boyfriend. I'm glad you finally acknowledged it. I have something to say. What is it? Don't get mad, but it's about Sam. He's a womanizer of the worst kind. Come on, did you invite me just to criticize my boyfriend, Sam? Oh, seems the awkward conversation started already. Girls, I totally love Sam. I don't want any of you talking trash about him. We're only trying to tell you the truth here, Susie. Susie, when we started going to school together, your boyfriend was already dating me. I know none of that is true. Hold this a sec. <sighs> now what the heck are you up to? Here, watch this. It's a video of the two of while we're dating. Yes, I couldn't believe it at first either. This can't be happening to me. <sighs> yes, we used to date until I found out he had a new girlfriend in town. That was you? I don't believe it, girls. You made it all up using Photoshop. You're just trying to ruin my happiness. I knew you wouldn't believe one word. So we prepared another piece of evidence. What is it? It's something you absolutely cannot argue about. Oh, seems they're here. Come on in. Don't be shy, baby. Oh, this looks just like my ex-girlfriend's house. Brittany, do you have an older sister? Just walk. You? What is happening right now, Sam? This is proof that your boyfriend is not a faithful person. Sam, why are you so close and clinging to that girl? Your boyfriend is no good, and that's real evidence. Uh, I... Uh, I... You'd better shut up. Our relationship is over. Susie! Wait there. You're going to regret what you did. Susie! Well, everything went well, and to be honest, I'm happy. Yes, that guy deserved to be exposed for his lies. But I feel sorry for his girlfriend. Well, considering he called Anya fat a few days ago, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> it seems that none of us has a partner anymore. It's a little sad not having anyone to go out to party with. Anya, don't you remember the guy in the cafe? He remembered you in high school. Mike? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, did I miss something good? I want all the details. The cafe employee is in love with Anya. No, he's not in love. Yes, he is, and he loves you very much. <laughs> Don't follow me anymore. Susie is waiting there. I told you already, it's over between us. We'll never get back together. Whoa, but you didn't even listen to me. She was just my little sister. You're a liar, Sam. Britney's Anya's sister, and you're a cheater. But what is going on here? Mike, I am sorry. I didn't mean to yell like that. You should not talk to him. No, I will talk to him, and I'm going out with Mike now. Hey, Mike, how is it going today? Normal. I'm still here watching you. Uh, Mike, are you busy today? Because I'm not. All right, then. Do what you want. Oh. Finally, Mike, you saved me. You guys are going through a really rough patch, aren't you? It's over. I'm not with him anymore, Mike. It's over. Wait a minute. Are they finished? Yeah. I'm surprised. You and Sam were together for a long time. Forget about him already. By the way, Mike, don't you have a girlfriend right now? Uh, I've always wanted to have a long-term relationship, but I don't. But I'm in love with a girl. I don't get what you mean, Mike. What are you talking about? Well, I really like a girl at this university, but I don't know how to tell her yet. Why is that? What's stopping you? Well, she's always been cooler than me. Are you talking about Anya? Be quiet. I'm not ready yet. And when will you be ready? Do you want her to meet someone else anytime soon? I wouldn't want that. So what are you waiting for then? I don't know how to talk to her properly or how to propose or what to say to her. I know what to do, Mike. Let's make her super jealous and then we'll make Sam mad too. Agreed. Did you hear the news? 
there will be a party for the students. How fun, will you go? If Dr. Oscar is going to be there, I'll be there too. Okay, I can see why you work with him. <sighs> Anya, that was love at first sight, but he always pushes me away. <sighs> Maybe that's because he's your teacher? Nonsense! It's because he's a vampire! How about you become one too? I'll help you! <sighs> no, thank you. That is not in my plans yet. It should! Believe me, it's better the relationship of a vampire and a human. That's me. By the way, what happened to Mike? Mike who? He's working, I guess. Okay, go to the cafeteria today and ask him out. Why would I? He will come alone. Anya, but he is not a student at the university. I don't trust him. Of course, that boy has been in love with you since school. And I know the truth. He brought you flowers every day to your room in the hospital. Really? Mike was doing that for me? Yes, just give it a try. Hello, you losers. Bye-bye, Mike. I will see you after school. Um, hello and goodbye. What is going on? See, my friend, all men are the same. What's the matter, Anya? Are you jealous of the coffee shop guy? Why do you care? What the hell is wrong with you, Susie? What's wrong with that? Yesterday you broke up with your boyfriend and today you have a new one. No. It is an exchange of favors. What are you talking about? Uh, listen, forget about him already. By the way, Mike, don't you have a girlfriend right now? Uh, I've always wanted to have a long-term relationship, but I don't. But I'm in love with a girl. I don't understand what you mean, Mike. What are you talking about? Well, I really like a girl at this university, but I don't know how to tell her yet. But why? What's stopping you? Well, she's always been cooler than me. Are you talking about Anya? Uh, be quiet, I'm not ready yet. And when will you be ready? Do you want her to meet someone else anytime soon? Mm, I wouldn't want that. So then what are you waiting for? I don't know how to talk to her properly or how to propose or what to say to her. I know what to do, Mike. Let's make her super jealous and then we'll make Sam mad too. Agreed. So are you telling me that Mike is only doing it to annoy Anya? That's right. That was always our plan. <sighs> I understand. If you ask me in front of Sam, then yes, I have a boyfriend, and then he'll come running back to me. Wait, wait, wait. You still want Sam to repent and come back to your side? Yeah, I know he still loves me. You are strange, of course. And the girl who is in love with her teacher, the vampire, is telling me just that. What? You know that too? I know. I think he's the only one who doesn't know it. <sighs> I don't know what I will do. Should we make that gentleman jealous too? No, I can try another way. But thanks, friend. How do you know? Are they not looking or are they looking at others? I don't know. I don't want Sam to know I'm looking at him either. Why did you decide to dance with me? Shut up and play along. <laughs> Sam, you're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? She won't look at me? I don't like this. <laughs> laugh, Sam. Just laugh. That works. Trust me. No, you better shut up. What's going on, Sam? Why did you come to dance with me and not with the ten other different girls you know? You know very well who I really love. It's like I've it is so unexpected that we are dancing together. Do you want to get back together I'm with your partner? No, I just want to dance heart. with you. What about little Susie? Little Susie is my relationship teacher. What does that mean? She told me that if I made you jealous of her, you would want to be with me out of envy. Stupid idea. Uh, I know. But it did work. <sighs> How cute they all look together. Emma, do you want to dance with me? Dr. Oscar, I'd love to.
Okay, well, enough. Oh, Mom, dear blood tastes bad, and I don't like it very much. I don't understand why. That's normal. We are all vampires. <coughs> oh, 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 the police! This is very bad. Children, we have to escape now. Such beautiful flowers I have here. I will make my mother very happy. Uh Hello, what were you going, fools? I'm sorry, let me help you pick up the flowers. Let them go. Layla, it's time to go, please. Stop there. I'm sorry, I have to go now. But where? Here you are, oh. killer. Let's go to the police station right now. <sighs> Why am I arrested? I haven't done anything wrong, miss. Tell that to the judge, not me. Walk. No. Sam, darling, let's go hunting, please. Honey, we can't. We're good vampires, and we don't do those things. It's true, but I'm craving it. I haven't drunk real blood in the last 100 years. Mom, Dad, hello. What are we going to eat? Fresh bed cakes. Nice, I love it. By the way, where's Ben? Is he still sleeping? Are you waiting for anyone? No, I'm not waiting for anyone. I don't understand. What was that? Violetta? Hello, dear sister. What? Aren't you glad to see me? What are you doing here? My darling, did we hear you right? Did you call that woman your sister? Yeah, she's Violetta. I am also glad to see you. We're going to stay with you for a while. No, there's no room for you here. Oh, come on. It's a big house. Let me introduce you. These are my children, Ethan and Layla. Hello, Hello there. there. What will we do? I don't know. I already knew you would agree. Susie, you are a very noble and kind vampire. Children, let's go see the house. But... <laughs> <laughs> Great. Come on, this will be fun. Oh my god. Mom, I don't want to live with them. They look super weird. You just have to be careful around them. Don't worry, we'll figure something out. Alright. What? How arrested? This is really bad. Where is he going? I don't know. I heard something about an arrest. Oh my god, what a big room! It's so nice you wouldn't think vampires live here. It's true. Oh, look at this big teddy bear. <laughs> it's so corny. And it's pink. <laughs> hey, first give it back, and no one give you permission to enter my room. <laughs> we decided that we had permission. <laughs> and you're not going to tell us what we can or cannot do. Uh, actually, you guys are guests at my house. Layla, have you heard anything? That silly vampire is just trying to tell us something. No, Ethan, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, they're so mean. I really want them to leave my house very soon. It doesn't matter, I'll think of something else. And where's Ben? How long do I have to wait? Why did you lock me up? Let me out of here now. No! And how about this? <sighs> well, enough games, sit down now. All right, I'll get out of here anyways. As you say, child. Yeah. What are you doing here, son? What did you do? Father, someone set me up. We'll talk about it at home. Let him out of here. Uh-huh, but first you will have to apply for your son to be released because he's on probation. Oh, I really hate to do this. No, you'll do whatever I ask. You're going to let my son out. <laughs> I'll let your son out. Thank you so much. Dad, when will I learn hypnosis? Ah, oh, my son, it's time to go now. Come with me. Let's go. Oh, but what happened here? I really can't believe it. I turned out to be the poor homeless sister and Susie the one with the great house. Oh well. Violetta. Dear sister, I can see how happy you are to see me here. 
so happy. Tell me honestly, why have you come to ruin my life for no reason? No. Why do you think I would want to do that? You've never learned to lie to me. Susie, our whole house has burned down. You couldn't find another place to go, so you decided to come here and bother me, of course. No, and that's why you're my sister. We haven't seen each other in forever. Yeah, since the day you gave up on your family. You know exactly what happened that day. Anyway, you have to find another place to stay. Do so fast. Yes, yes. Of course we will move out. But in a few months. Maybe two. You have already been warned. Oh. Dad, don't tell mom, but those vampires were completely crazy. You should have seen them. They did it. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. What are they doing here? <laughs> oh, it's nice to see you. Um, we're living here now. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Dad, why is she saying that? My son, I will explain absolutely everything to you. Listen, he's a real uncle, right? Um, yeah. It was because of them that they took me to prison. Sorry, we didn't mean to set you up like that. Honestly, I do not believe you. Yes, I can see that you already knew each other, and I hope you can get along. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. Where's Ben? Emma, would you mind explaining to me what's going on at home? Ben, where were you? Dad said something about going to jail. Oh, it's a long story. I don't want mom to find out. You better tell me what those two fools are doing here. Mom's sister is our guest, and they're her children. But wait, what? Mom has a sister? It's really crazy. I was so shocked too, but I don't like that strange family at all. Yes, me too. We really have to get them out of here. Do you support me? Yeah, of course. We'll think of a plan. Help me down. Hmm. What's Violetta doing in her home? Sam, we have to think of something quick to get Violetta and her children out of our dear home. It's true. By the way, why didn't you tell me before that you had a sister in your family? Well, I didn't talk to her in a long time, and it's a long story. And I'm not in rush at all. You can tell me from the start. Are you sure? <laughs> can you hear that? What's going on out there? I don't know. Let's go find out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll call the police. Please stop screaming like that. We will never listen to you. Now you can go do your homework, fool. <laughs> <laughs> They have no respect! Yeah, I agree. <laughs> ben, come join us! It's fun! <laughs> oh no, we will never act like you! You're, You're so, so boring. boring! What the hell is going on in my house? Oops. And what the heck is this mess? Mom, Dad, we told them to shut up, but they didn't listen to us. Are you completely crazy? Where's your mother now? Children, come here now! Let's, Let's go! go. I can't put up with this for much longer. Calm down, sweetie. Such strange blood. Mom, did you call us? I wanted you to taste this blood. How is it? Ew, I don't like it at all. It doesn't taste good. How can they drink this? I think the same as you. Violetta, what are you doing? I'm getting rid of this awful blood. How can you even drink that? Disgusting. Disgusting. We do like it. And we don't go hunting either. Why not? Oh, wow. It even seems like you almost became a normal person. Yeah, but I love that. That is weird. Mom, let's go hunting. Come on. Nobody's going anywhere. And why is that? Because we don't want Emma and Ben to know about hunting or human blood. Have they really never gone hunting? What a shame! <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. This is my house, and these are my rules. If you really want to live here, it's strictly forbidden to go hunting. All right, okay. No need to complain about it. Let's go, children. Glad you understand. Listen, Ethan. While our dear cousin Emma is at school, I suggest we go through her beautiful room for a while. 
I don't think she'd like us to do something like that. <laughs> don't worry, I'm sure she doesn't even care. Anyways, look at the ugly dresses she has here. I promise you she'd be happier if we got rid of this disgusting clothes. <laughs> That's fine. If it's to have fun, then I'm uninterested. <laughs> This another horrible dress in her closet. <laughs> now it's much better. And we'll throw these silly bags. <laughs> yeah, good job. But we should do even more. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what is this thing? <laughs> and what are you doing here? I was just taking a look at this place. I can see that you have a very modern office, Sam. But no, I don't want you to see my things or use them. Get out of here. Just listen to me now. I have a question for you. Has Susie always been so beautiful or did you change her? What questions are you asking? She's the prettiest vampire in the whole world. How interesting. But I was wondering, why didn't we communicate before? Well, I don't know. I guess she didn't have time for you. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what version of the story she told you. What are you talking about? We stopped talking because she... But what is happening now? Hmm, little sister. But how come you didn't tell your husband the whole truth before I showed up here? What is this mess? Emma, what's going on here? Daddy, look at what they did to my precious room. Wish I could take it back. But what it a mess. Matter. When you look and they ruined all my favorite party dresses as well. Don't cry, we're going to fix all this. But what is going on here? Oh wow, I think my kids have really crossed the line this time. Hmm. Violetta, nothing like this can happen ever again. Don't you worry, I will make them understand. I honestly don't think that will work. Daddy, I want them out of my life! I want that too, and so does your mom. But there's nothing that can be done. What a beautiful day it's today, and this is very delicious. Hey Ben, good morning. How are you doing? Layla, everything was going great until you showed up. Ben, why are you leaving so soon? You know, because I don't want to spend time with you. <sighs> well, actually, I wanted to apologize for causing so much trouble. Thank you. That's really helpful right now. I don't care. Bye. <gasps> Maybe I'm never going to get along with him. Oh, sister, do you want something romantic with Ben? Um, no. <laughs> You're imagining things. He doesn't interest me at all. Hmm. All right. What a beautiful bathroom Susie and Sam have, and all the cosmetics here are just fantastic. I'm going to have to ask Susie for more bloody masks, because I just used the last one. Oh, the bathroom is busy, and I'm not ready yet. <sighs> How long is she going to be there? I've been waiting for an hour and I can't take it anymore. <sighs> Violetta, it's you who's been in there for an hour? Of course, vampires also need to take care of their skin. Oh yeah, but you can't do that when someone else needs to go to the bathroom. <sighs> but what a cry baby, what a shame. How could Susie marry someone like him? <sighs> No one's here. Emma, are you sure our plan will work out? Do you really have a better option? It's the only thing that can work. And what if that finds out we trust his office? Um, don't worry, Ben. He's not going to. And our plan will work out. All right. Um, well, now we're all done. We did it. Oh, I can't keep drinking this blood anymore. I need to go hunting right now. I just hope no one notices that I ran away. Mom, where are you going? I was just going to get some fresh air in the woods, children. You're not going hunting, right? No, my son, don't worry. Mm, I will come back soon. All right, I have to go. <laughs> yeah, she never learned to lie very well. Don't even say it. Okay, let's go see a movie. 
honey, I bought a wonderful dress. Look at it. Oh, what is all of this? It's a mess. Those children are unbelievable. And we've already talked about all this. Um, what's going on? It's excellent. Our plan worked out. Great. I already told you that mom would totally think it was her fault. Uh-huh. Now we only have to wait. And dad needs to see when he comes home from that concert he was at today. Ooh, you're right. Oh, but what a great drama movie. Mia, you're the love of my life. And I will never forget you, my darling. Are you sure? No. Ew, that's so kerny. Real vampires don't like this kind of films. Ethan, that's enough. I hope something similar happens to me too. <laughs> How could someone ever like you? You're awful. Oh, well, thank you. That's a compliment for a vampire. Did you go crazy? Are you so upset because we used your computer? We just wanted to see a movie and that's all. Shut up. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, to be honest, I don't know. Hmm, we haven't done anything wrong yet. Weren't you the ones who completely trashed up Sam's office as a prank? What? But we didn't destroy anything else. Even less Mr. Sam's office. Will you ever stop lying this much? You're just like your mother. Why are you screaming? Um, alright Sam, did you actually see it too? I don't get it. You still haven't seen what they did to your office? What? My beloved office! This cannot happen. Mr. Sam, we didn't do anything. Yes, we were in the living room relaxing and watching a movie. <sighs> Stop lying. I don't believe anything. If this happens ever again, you will no longer stay in my house. Sam, calm down and just wait for me. I have a feeling someone decided to make us look guilty. Mm -hmm. And actually, I know who did it. We have to confront them and prove that we didn't do it. I have an idea. Let's go. Ethan, but why did we come here? If we stay too long, they will think that we are the guilty ones. Just wait. Okay. Oh well, I hope Emma and Ben are ready for this. What are you talking about? Turn around and look up. <laughs> so you mean that all this time Sam's office had a hidden camera? Uh-huh. It's already recorded. If we find the tape, we're gonna prove that we didn't do it. Ethan, you're a genius. Hurry before someone arrives and sees us. Done. I have it. We can go now. Excellent. Great. Just one more problem with them, and we'll be off the hook for good. That's easy and I'll be quick. Well, hello, guys. We're glad to see you here. Oh, do you want some blood? Oh, yeah, right. I forgot you don't like it. <laughs> you guys set up a good trap. And we hardly discovered you. You've already lost control and great vampires are experts with traps. <laughs> but there's only one thing you great vampires didn't notice. And which thing is it? There was a security camera in the room. And on this drive, we have the entire tape. Oh my god. And soon your parents will discover that their dear good children <laughs> are not so honest. Give me the drive now. Quickly! <laughs> shut up, shut up. I'm not gonna give you anything. Oh, it's so good to be small and fast. Enough! Give that back! Uh, I will quick, no, I'll see take it back! Give it to me! <laughs> what is going on here? Daddy, um, Layla and Ethan just beat us up. Yes, they hurt us very bad. Hmm, you've been already warned. But that's not true. Yes, they're lying to you. I'm not going to believe you two instead of my own children. Oh, but what is happening here? Violetta, where were you? I was just, uh, walking. Uh-huh, I can see that you have blood on your lips. Well, I'm tired of all of you. Now get out of my house immediately! Well said, Dad! Yeah, you're right. But wait, please! We can prove that we're not guilty of anything. I don't want to hear anything anymore. Get out of my property! All right, we'll find a much better place. Children, let's go! <laughs> now I'm going to tell Susie what just happened. 
this awful moment is finally over, brother. Today is the best day of my whole life. Everyone's already out of the house. Oh, kicking your own sister out of your house? That is completely wrong. And I really can't believe Ben did this to us. Lila, I can't believe you like Ben. He's the most weak vampire I've ever seen. No, what's the matter? I do not like anyone. Of course, of course. As you say... Enough! This is not the time to fight. We have to think about where we will be staying. I honestly don't want to leave this business unfinished. What are you talking about? What else can we do? We were set up by Emma and Ben, and we had the evidence to prove that. Why didn't you show it to Sam and Susie? Those two kids shouldn't get away with what they did. We couldn't, because Mr. Sam stepped on the drive. And he destroyed it. Oh, what a shame. But wait, isn't there a copy? It's true. The video is still inside the computer. How could we forget about that? We just have to get inside the house. Yeah, but how? They kicked us out. We are going to use our same old trick, the window. But what if they don't want to listen to us this time? They will listen. They will have no other choice. Let's go right now, kids. Ben, we had a great idea. Yeah, I'm totally shocked it really worked out. Well, this is a real victory. We have to celebrate. We kicked them out of the house. Now we can relax again. That family was completely insane. How can it be actually possible that Violetta is her mother's sister? I don't understand either. They're both so different in every single way. I wonder, why did she want mom to stop talking? What could have happened between them? I don't know, but we'll have to ask her about that soon. Meanwhile, let's just go drink together some fresh and tasty blood. Let's go. We're the best team ever. <laughs> So you actually kicked them out of our house? Mm-hmm. Oh, she didn't say goodbye to me. What are we going to do now? It doesn't matter. We can live peacefully like before. You're right. Are you sure? Violetta? What are you doing here? I already kicked you out. You have to understand that. First, wait, before we go, we want to show you an important video from the security camera, and it's inside your computer. Hey, what? Uh, did you also use my computer? That camera hasn't worked for a very long time, right, Sam? The camera doesn't work now, I forgot to tell you that. Very good. You will be very surprised when you check the video. Check the camera and we will go. <sighs> okay, but let's do it fast. You will be so surprised by the video that you are going to see. I really hope there's no trick here. Ah, oh, Susie, there is no trick. Okay, I'm going to turn it on then. All right, then let's see it. It's there. Ethan already found the recording and he's about to open it. Hmm, I wonder what they want to show us. Hurry up, son. Don't worry, Ben. They won't find out and our plan will work out. All right. I am super disappointed. I can't believe our kids were capable of doing this. And how are we supposed to educate them? Well, well. We told you we didn't do it. And even though my kids are bad and wild vampires, they never did anything to your silly house. Well, at the beginning we kind of did. <sighs> Honey, come with me. I think we need to have a serious talk with her kids right now. I totally agree with you, darling. Let's go. I didn't expect this from Susie's children. Don't even say it, Mom. I wonder what Aunt Susie will say to them. Let's not miss the show, kids. Emma, Ben, I need you to come here right now. <clears throat> children, we need to have a serious talk with both of you. Come here, quick. Oh yeah, you should be very hard on them. I'm not surprised they got caught. They're very bad at lying to people. I agree. How come they didn't notice the camera in the room? <laughs> Where are your children? Parents, why are you yelling at us like that? What's going on? Why is everyone here? And why did Violetta, Ethan and Layla came back home? Stop pretending. It's so unexpected, right? I don't understand. Can someone explain to me what's happening? We were all looking for you. There's something we need to talk about. I'm very serious. What happened? Mom, are you going to kick them out of the house? Well, actually, no. I don't get it. But Daddy had done it. And then I changed my mind. Can't you imagine? We will be here for a long time. We will be a big family of vampires. Nothing could be better than this. This, right? Why did you guys set up your cousins Ethan and Layla? Us? We didn't set them up, Dad. Believe 
us, please. We are your children. Stop lying to us. We did not raise you to be like this. That's right. We raised you to be smart and good kids and not to be awful liars. But we're not lying to you. Don't you think your own children are good? At least tell the truth. Guys, there's no point in lying anymore. Mr. Sam and Miss Susie already saw the security camera video. You shouldn't keep lying. How could you do this? <sighs> I cannot believe it. But, but... Be quiet. I don't want to hear any excuses from you. Okay, guys, you're grounded for a month and you won't be able to go anywhere anymore. But we actually did it for our family. And you don't like living with them either. We don't like them, but you can't do that to anyone, much less to your mother's family. That's right. And yeah, Emma, get used to it, because Layla will be your new roommate. What? But I don't want to live with her. Nobody was asking you, young lady. Uh, <laughs> Emma, wait for me. You are very strict. I didn't think you would do something like that. Yeah, Susie is very strict, but only when it's really necessary. Violetta, children, please forgive my family's behavior. They're actually very kind, but this time I don't know what happened to them. Don't worry, we're not offended. Especially since you already know the whole truth. What else do you have to tell them, children? <clears throat> and we're also really sorry for destroying Emma's room. We honestly regret it. But we won't do something like that ever again. Okay, everything's fine. Are we a family now? Yes, we are. <laughs> Hey girls, you haven't told me yet. Why didn't you talk for so long? I don't want to remember the past. You can do it, Susie. You have to tell your husband about this. Alright, we used to be the best sisters in the whole world. But then our family started doing super evil things. I didn't like it, so I left. And I stayed. I can't believe it. I never imagined this. That's how we lost such for all those years. And when I saw Violetta again here, I was very shocked. At least I managed to surprise you with something. It was a success. Hmm. All right, girls. What matters now is that everything's fine. And that actually means we can stay at your house for a bit longer, right? Well, of course. Mom? Dad? What do you need from us now? Let's, Let's go, go hunting, hunting in the, in the woods, woods all together. together. Oh, no. I already told you this would happen one day. So, can we all go now? Yes, we can go, but you will have to follow me, the greatest leader of all vampires. <laughs> this day couldn't get any better. This lovely weather puts me in a good mood. Freeze! Turn around slowly and put your stupid hands where I can see them. Uh, just take everything I have, but please don't hurt me, guys. We're not interested in your money. So, what do you guys want? Your life is what we want. I guess we better finish him off right now and take away his clothes. Get the hell away from him! Oh, what the heck? What the hell is wrong with her? But how did she even do that? Let me assure you I can beat you guys far worse than that. And how do you have so much strange? Do you want to keep pushing your luck? No, no, okay, we're living. Yes, we're out of here, it's okay. You're crazy. Hmm, I guess I could bite your skinny neck right now. <sighs> Too bad I'm not really hungry. You'd have been a good snack. <sighs> Hello, 911. I've got an unconscious man here. Please come and get him. What's taking so long? I just hope you wake up soon. I'm freaking starving here. Hello, young lady. Are you his relative, right? Well, not really. Well, that's a shame, cause I'm here with wonderful news for you. Tell me, what is it? He'll be just fine. Your quick call managed to save his mm -hmm. life. I guess I'm glad. I'll just tell you one thing. If he had been lying there for 15 more minutes, his brain would have been damaged and he would be dead. Wonderful news, doctor, but I'm afraid I have to go. Wait, don't you want to be here when he wakes up? No, why would I? What a pity, because he doesn't seem to have an ex of kin. 
and he was practically on the verge of life and death. So what? That's not really my problem anymore. This is like his second birthday, young lady. It's so sad that no one's here for him. Okay, okay, I'll stick around, doctor. I'm so glad to hear that. Go get me a fresh bag of blood for transfusions. You do have plenty of those, don't you? Yes, we do. Why are you asking? You seem to ask too many dumb questions, doctor. Now go get me that blood and mind your own business. I'm gonna get you the blood, just a second. <sighs> that was kind of easy. I'm so glad he wasn't a Jedi. <laughs> what an idiot. <sighs> Darling, do you have an idea where our baby boy is? Mm, no, honey, I don't have a clue. I'm worried sick about him. It's way too late, babe. He's a big boy now. You don't have to worry so much about him. But he will always be just a little baby to me. Mm, let's just ask Oscar. Maybe he has seen him. O Oscar? Oscar? Yes, Mr. Sam, I am here. What can I help you with? Have you seen your oldest son, Ethan? I'm worried sick about him. No, I have not seen him today, sir. It's okay. Now go make some tea and I'll be right in the kitchen. Sure thing. What do we do now, darling? Just ask Kevin. Maybe he knows where his big brother might be. Sure thing, I'll go. I'll be waiting for you at the kitchen, babe. See you there. Come on, kick! Goal! Hello, son. I'm so sorry to bother you. Hi, Mom. Come in. Have you seen your big brother today? I'm actually worried about him. Um, no, I haven't seen him. That's weird. He always comes home so early. Well, I don't know, Mom. Maybe something bad happened to him. He's a big boy, Mom. I'm sure he can take care of himself. But what's wrong with you? He's a big boy, big boy. He's a little baby to me. Don't give me that attitude, Kevin. Ah, why are you being paranoid? Get out! Ah, oh, this is so yummy. Wake up already. I'm sick and tired of being here. Come on, just wake up already! Uh, ugh. what are you doing to me, goth girl? <sighs> Finally, you woke up! I was getting bored! Uh, who are you? And what am I doing in this hospital? Uh, some dumb robbers hit you on the head and they ran away, so I called 911. I kind of remember it, but who on earth are you? I am Emma, and I practically saved you, so to speak. Uh, Emma... Thank you for being gorgeous. Well, I'm glad you made a full recovery, but I have to go now. Uh, please don't go. You're the one who saved me. And why would I stay? Because I owe you my life. I'm totally in debt to you. Come on, I was just doing a good deed. Don't even mention it. No, we should go to my house. I have to introduce you to my parents. Mm, whatever, I have nothing to do now. This is our summer house. I'll introduce you to my parents now. This place is like a movie set. Come on, why do you look so surprised? Do you really live in this castle? Well, yes, we own many houses. This place looks like the Red Keep. Come on, don't be shy. Let me introduce you to everyone around the place. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Mom? Dad? I'm home. Home? Son, is that really you? Sport, you better tell us where you've been now, because we've been worried sick. I would like you to meet Emma. A pleasure. What the heck is this hobo girl doing in our house? She actually saved me from some thieves. For real? Some thieves? Well, yeah. Then come to the living room, we need to have a word. Good idea, honey, come on. Sure thing, we'll be there. Follow me, Emma. I think I've gotten myself into a lot of trouble by just coming here. I'm so glad you're back, sweetheart. We were so worried, sport. Yeah, me too. What a beautiful family he's got. If it wasn't for Emma, I would have died. She practically saved my life. Come on, it was not such a big deal. I'm sure anyone would have done the same thing. I don't think so. We're always going to be so grateful to you for saving our baby. And how can we show your gratitude? Your gratitude? Come again? <sighs> I guess we could give you some money now. Maybe we can get some new clothes just for you. Or maybe the latest cell phone or something. Oh no, I'm doing fine. I guess I have everything I need. Champ, let's go to the kitchen and think about who could have done this to you. Alright, mom, please don't be rude to Emma. Darling, of course I won't. Now go and have a word with your dad. Behave yourself. 
I don't really know what I'm doing here. All right, smart girl. Take this money and get out of my face. Hey, what do you mean? It's obvious you're not good enough for our son. Are you freaking nuts? But I'm not really... Just shut up and listen to me. I said you're not good enough for him, so get out of here because I don't want to see your face again. I don't need your useless money. You are a piece of trash. I better leave this place right now. I'm not going to stop you. Get out of my way. Oh, whoa. Do you know that smart girl, Oscar? Is there anything you'd like to say? I don't. It's none of my business. But I think Mr. Ethan is going to get so mad. I don't care. I'm his mother, and I'm the one who decides who hangs out with him and who doesn't. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Uh, hello, bro. Oh, so you're back already. Where were you? I was mocked, but everything's fine now. They patched me up at the hospital. And why do you look so angry? What happened to you? That's why I came here to talk to you about... To spit it out, tell me what's going on. Listen, maybe you happen to know where Emma went? Who's Emma? So you haven't heard a single word? No, nope, I've been here reading. Uh, that really sucks. But tell me, who is she, Ethan? <sighs> She's like the most stunning young girl you'll meet in your life. Oh, I've never heard you say something like that before. Congratulations. <sighs> That's because I've never felt like this before. Okay, I'm going to ask mom. Maybe she knows where she is. Go ahead, man. Look for her. I got your back. <sighs> this new blush is supposed to make me look like 10 years younger. Oh, mom, sorry to bother you. Listen, is there something you would like to tell me? No, and don't ever come into your mother's bedroom with the attitude again. What the heck did you do? What did you say to Emma to make her run away like that? I just did what I had to do, young man. Are you nuts? I actually like her a lot, mom. Ethan, you're just too young and dumb to understand love. But listen to your mama. I know what's good for you. Well, I'm sick and tired of listening to you. How can you say that to your own mother? Are you throwing your life away for that hobo? You never really cared about what I want in life, mom. And I'm leaving this stupid house. You just do not respect anyone but yourself. <sighs> Farewell. You come back crying when you run out of money. <gasps> Someday you'll thank me a lot for this, I'm sure. <sighs> I really need to find Emma. I'm totally sure we belong together. This is so me. As soon as I meet a handsome and tall young boy, he disappoints me. Some things never seem to change. Uh, Emma, I can hear you. Are you around here? Ethan, is it really you? Emma, I finally found you. How did you find me? How did you know where I was? Uh, I just followed my beaten heart and I found you. That makes sense. And why did you look for me? I missed you so much. I guess I haven't stopped thinking about you. I'm glad to hear that. Will you be my wife, Emma? Just like that? Are you sure? Yes, I want to be with you for the rest of my life. Yes, I do. Now I'm like the happiest man on earth. <laughs> Stop, Ethan! Put me down! <laughs> What's wrong, babe? Did you change your mind? No, it's just we don't have the money for a wedding. How are we getting married? There's no hurry, darling. We'll earn some money for the wedding. All right, let's do it. Everything will be fine. <sighs> Interesting. Where's Ethan? He's gone. Did he leave again, Dad? He always acts like an idiot. You should scold him. Don't say that. He's your big brother. You're always spoiling him and you know it. That's not true. He's just your hair. And that's why we care. Guys, what's up with all the yelling? Dad lost his favorite son again, Mom. Hey, that's enough. Don't start with the attitude. Listen to her. I get tired of you guys and Ethan. Take that back, young man, and don't talk back to your mother. All right, eat my shorts. Kevin, now you're grounded. He's just nervous, babe. Don't take his side on this. All right. Have you seen Ethan? Where is he? No, but I think I know where he is. Where is he? This family of Rex practices is Sue. I have to get a new job ASAP. My nervous system can take the screaming anymore. We got into an argument and he went after that poor girl, Emma. But she seemed like a nice girl to me, babe. Don't you dare say that. That girl is nothing but a hobo. We weren't always rich either, honey. Don't forget that. Sam, this is very different. Will you not mistrust me? Oscar, a coffee right now. No problem. I'm already on it. Looks like today I can't please anyone. Sometimes I can't stand you guys. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> 
I've been so happy lately. I do miss my parents a lot, but they don't understand me. I hope everything's okay. Hello, honey. Tell me, how is your day going? Everything's cool, honey. I was getting a little bored already. Me too. Oh, I'm not feeling very well. <clears throat> She's been feeling kind of sick since we started dating. That's weird. We should go to the doctor. Honey, I need to have a word with you. I'm all ears now. I just thought about it. I think I overreacted a bit with Ethan. I also think you did, darling. Actually, I miss him very much. Even I miss him a lot. I don't have anyone to fight with. Listen, guys, it seems you finally understand family values. I've been trying to tell you this stuff for ages. You were right. It just took longer than I expected, to be honest. Am I right? At first, I was looking forward to having the whole room to myself, Dad. But now I feel very sad and lonely. Well, it's time we bring our boy back home. Then how do we get him to come back? Yes, because he could be like anywhere. Mm, yes, I guess we could hire a private detective. I don't know how we can do that. I'm sorry, but I think I can help you with that. Ask her? What do you even mean? What does this have to do with you? Ah, oh, if only you guys knew. I used to work for a secret agency. Why didn't you say that before we hired you, Oscar? I'd like to know, because neither of you guys asked well, me. Well, he's right. I never thought we had Alfred working here. <sighs> what a plot twist. Enough, Chip Chat. I'm going to find him, no matter what it takes. Babe, why don't we just hire a professional? Don't worry, honey. This is interesting. So you're telling me you can do housework and play detective at the same time? Of course. I will prove that I'm a professional. You guys are underestimating me. Hmm. Okay, I'll give you three days. Roger, I'll bring him in too. This is some weird Batman stuff, Dad. He's right, I didn't expect to live with a secret agent inside my house. Huh. Why is he working as a butler? That guy is weird. Well, all that matters is that he brings him home. <laughs> You're right, honey. I hope he's doing well, mom. I hope so too, Cupcake. I feel really sick now, Ethan. <sighs> honey, I'm worried about you. We should go to the hospital. Do you think so? It's just that I'm very afraid of hospitals. Yeah, Emma, we should check you out to see what's wrong with you. Or maybe... There's no maybe. You are priceless to me and I have to look after you, babe. Okay. Well, get up. Let's go. Let's go. Well, well, well. I don't have much time. I have to find Master Ethan. That way I'll get his family's respect. Ethan, any news about me? Still nothing, sweetheart. The test results will be back very soon. Do you think it's something serious? No, I hope everything's fine. I'm sure it's nothing but a stomach ache. Good afternoon, guys. Speak up, doctor. Come on, we're so nervous. All right, then. I guess I have terrific news. What are the news? Congratulations, Emma. You are pregnant. What the heck? Ugh. Ethan, honey! Okay, enough. It's been a whole day. I say we need to get a real specialist. Babe, we gave him two days. He still has 24 hours left. I'm so worried right now. I can't control my anxiety. Just don't think about it, honey. I'm going to make you some hot tea. Well, okay. That will help me relax. Oh, what an awful headache. So you finally wake up, Ethan! I think we've been in this situation before. Am I right, Emma? I was thinking the same thing. How are you feeling, honey? I feel terrific. Thank you for asking. Uh, Ethan, do you remember what the doctor said? Of course I do. And I can barely believe it, Emma. Uh, to be honest, you had a panic attack. I was just fooling around, Cupcake. Yeah, right. That's what you want to call it. Although, I think there will be only one problem. And what is it? Am I missing something? Oh no, don't worry, it's nothing. But we better do something. Come on, tell me what's going on. Well, it's just that you and me are not married yet. Don't you think we should? <sighs> That doesn't matter, Emma. For me, it's important because my baby has to grow up in a family. Don't get upset. We will do it. You don't even care. I'm sure you never actually loved me. Okay, love, stop being hysterical and let's start planning our dream wedding. For real? So you're not lying? No, I could never do that to you. You're my everything, babe. You're my everything, too. <laughs> awesome. Looks like the house is nearby. 
Be careful, there are a lot of stairs down here. Ethan, stop it. It's not like I'm sick. Emma, you can never be too careful. I think you're overreacting, Ethan. So this is where you love bears were hiding? And who is this? He's just my parents' butler, Oscar. Yes, it's me. Well, why don't you tell us what you're doing here, Oscar? You know, I don't care if you guys don't like me. I'm here for serious affair. Well, speak up. We're listening to you. Mr. Ethan, your mother and father miss you very much, and they asked me to come get you. That's why I'm here. No, we're not interested in that. Hey, wait, my love. Let's listen to what he has to say. <sighs> All right, go ahead. Everyone will like you to come home. Emma, would it kill us to go back and see if they changed? <sighs> Do you really think so, Ethan? Cause I doubt it. Of course I do. They used to love me, babe. That's true. <sighs> All right, Oscar. Just tell them that we will be there tonight for dinner. Thank you, honey. Sure thing. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much for giving it a second thought, honey. Do you think they will actually like me this time? <sighs> they already made that mistake once. So they're not gonna try any funny business now. And how do we tell them I'm pregnant, Ethan? Let's go home, honey. We'll figure something out. You don't have to worry. All right, I can barely wait. Um, he has 30 minutes left. She'll make it. No need to worry. I hope so. Ooh, that was so close. <sighs> what took you so long, Oscar? I couldn't take the train, so I just had to run here. Hmm. Can't you guys see he's a super spy? Well, spill the beans. Did you find him? Yep. He and Emma are coming over for dinner. With Emma? That's right. Honey, we already talked about this. If you don't want to lose her baby, we ought to accept her. Don't worry, Mom. We're here. All right, let's get ready so we can welcome them. Well, are you ready, honey? Do I have a choice? You always have a choice, Cupcake. To be honest, I'm terrified. I don't think they will be happy to see me this time. No need to worry. We can always run away again. <sighs> okay, honey, let's go. Are you ready? <sighs> I am. Welcome home, Mr. Ethan. Hello. Good afternoon. Come in. They're already waiting for you. Great. Oh, there he is. Hello, sweetheart. We're thrilled to see you, sport. We miss you, brother. I guess I also missed you guys a lot. Sit down and grab a bite, darling. Join us. We cannot wait to hear from you, champ. Actually, we have a little surprise for you. <gasps> uh-huh. <laughs> I love surprises. Kevin, you need to shut your mouth. Mom, Dad, have a look. Let's see what's inside. Emma, are you pregnant? <laughs> Since you've been busy, brother. Yes, we just couldn't wait to share this wonderful news with you guys. A wonderful news? <sighs> <sighs> Honey, uh, wake up, Mom. Mom, are you okay? Miss Susie, would you like some water? Yes, give me some, please, Emma. Will you? Yes, right away. Sweetheart, are you crazy or what? Mom, cut the drama. I love her very much. Are you sure about that? I am. Mm-hmm. So are you guys at least married? No. We're kind of broke to have a proper wedding, Mom. So we're skipping that bit for now. I knew you wouldn't survive without me, boy. Here you go, Miss Susie. Mm, thank you. Now scram. Wait a sec. What? Mom, what the heck? Since this girl managed to capture my baby's heart, I have no choice but to turn her into a gorgeous woman. I can't believe it. Whoa, Mom. I wasn't expecting that sudden change of heart. I'm going to turn her into a movie star and you won't recognize her. Come on, Emma. Sounds good. <laughs> Congrats, bro. You're getting married now. Thank you, man. It's great. Congratulations, champ. I guess now you are a real man. This is the best shop in the world. I totally love my saloon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, and welcome to the best hair saloon in town. This place is amazing. It is. It's the Sistine Chapelle. Make a goddess out of this goth girl. I'm begging you, Pedro. She looks like a gargoyle. You don't look like an angel yourself. Oh, uh, this will take a ton of work. Look at this cotchet hair. Money's not a problem. I trust you, Pedro. You're the only one who can do it. Well, that won't be a problem. Come in and sit down, please. All right. 
I guess I missed this carefree days, man. Yes, we used to play video games all night long, bro. <laughs> Guys, it's me. Mind if I join you? Of course not. Come inside. Hmm, I have something for you, Ethan. For me? And what's that for? Yikes, that's one ugly suit, old man. It's for your wedding night, sport. <laughs> you look like grandpa. We just wanted to do something small, dad. Son, let me help you with that. You need to trust your old man. I know a thing or two. Mm, okay, if you say so. And what about that nasty suit, dad? <sighs> this is my wedding suit. You see, your mother and I have a wonderful marriage. And that's what I wish for you. So here you go. Have fun, champ. Are you kidding me now? I don't deserve this. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> don't mention it, sport. <sighs> come on, come on, come on quick. quick. Come, come on, on, come, come on. on. One more second, and we're done. No freaking way. Emma, you look like a decent human being. I'll take that as a compliment, Miss Susie. Don't worry, honey. Pedro, time for the big guns. Shall I bring you the outfit I've had in stores for years? Hmm, I wonder what it will be. Yeah, she's totally worth it. So I guess she can have it from now on. What do you mean? I don't understand. Just wait and see, darling. So I'll be right back. You're gonna freak out. <laughs> Here, Miss Susie, I have kept it safe and sound as you requested. Thank you, Pedro. That is so beautiful. And it belongs to you now, Emma. Are you actually being serious? This one was mine, my wedding dress, and now I'm giving it to you. It's time it changes someone else's life for the best. Really? Yeah, I was wrong about you. You are an incredible young woman. My work here is finished. Thank you. That's all I wanted to hear from you, Miss Susie. And why were you so mean to me before? Because unfortunately, it took me a while to rethink things properly. All right. I understand you needed some time. That's right, honey. Well, come on. It's your wedding day, and we cannot be late. <sighs> Emma, are you ready to take Ethan as your husband and be with him forever and ever? Yes. Of course I am. And you, Ethan, are you ready to spend the rest of your life with Emma? Mm, I don't know. What are you saying? Hey, yes, of course I am. Look, they look so cute. I'm glad you finally came around. Just don't push me, Sam. <sighs> That's the Susie I really love. Mom, Dad, I'm so happy for him. And so are we. To move forward, place the ring on her hand and you can kiss the bride. The best day of my life. Hooray! And now I pronounce you husband and wife. I love you, sweetheart. Welcome to the family. Let's start from scratch. <laughs> Thank you. We have one more thing to do. Do you mind, parents? No. Live happily, my children. I've waited so long to do this to you, Ethan. Now I understand why you always want human blood so badly. I love you so much. Now let's live forever. Eternity is not enough with you, my love. Hooray! Hooray! Dad is coming. Don't cry, baby. Take it easy. Emma, uh, my daughter, give it to me and you go eat and see your husband. Thank you, Mom. You always helped me since I came here. Um, it's a pleasure. Well, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. He's so cute. He looks so much like her son. I agree. Those eyes and that nose. Just like Ethan when he was a baby. I think he looks more like me, don't you? What does it have to do with you? I'm also part of the family. Son, now that you're a big boy, we should talk to you. Yeah, you should get a girlfriend too, Kevin. But you know I don't like anyone. Well, you should, because we also want to wait for your beautiful children. Ah, uh, here we go. I better leave. Where are you going, son? Looking for a wife, mom. Oh, well, he's just so rude. Mm, reminds me of someone I love very much. What did you say? That I love you, my bad girl. I thought so. Hi, honey. 
Oh, what are they doing in there? Hello, darling. You know, they are fighting as usual. What love they have after all, fighting but still together. Do you think we'll be like that too, love? We will be even better. I love you so much. <sighs> And I love you. Let's get Justin away from them. Dad is already starting to teach him how to fish. How about we go watch a movie together? I agree. I like that idea much, much better. Hey, where are you going? Come on, love. Let them be. They're young. You know what I've been thinking? Come on, you can tell me now. Maybe we should ask Emma to turn us as well, honey. So I can be forever with you? Oh, no. What the heck, Sam? You don't love me? Just kidding, babe. Don't get upset, okay? Well, that's better. We'll figure something out. Don't worry. Do you trust me? Of course I do. <sighs> What a beautiful day. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> so what? You didn't expect that? It's just a morning shower. <laughs> hey, have you guys lost your mind or what? Brittany, give me the notebook. Uh-huh. Oh, my... They're so annoying. They just won't leave me alone. You and how did you do that? It doesn't matter. The important thing is that I saved you. But you stopped the car with your hand. How is that possible? Well, I have to go now. But wait, ordinary people could never do that. Listen, you won't remember this situation, and now you'll just go home. What happened? Well, I think I should go now. <laughs> <laughs> Ben, what's wrong? New people are coming to school, and their look is horrible. New people? I really hope they are normal and not like you guys. <laughs> Just relax, girls. I'm going to protect you. Uh, Ben, come down now. Let's go and see those new guys. Oh, wow, that's a good-looking guy. I don't know if he's handsome, but I think he's... So cool. Hey, friend. I don't think he wants to be our friend. Hey, Emma. Susie, it's weird, but I have a feeling I've seen that guy somewhere before. <laughs> Come on, where could you have seen him? I don't know. Yeah, those guys don't seem very friendly. Why not? I like one of them. Her name's Emma, I think. Ethan, you know that we're not supposed to fall in love. We came to this town to be able to start over, and you will ruin everything with your crush. <sighs> of course I remember. Very well, I hope so. I don't understand why those guys don't have Instagram. They don't use social media. Susie, what do you think? Susie? What? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just reading a vampire book. It's very interesting. I don't like fiction. Listen, do you think we could try talking to them? I don't know. They are not very sociable. Come on, that new guy is really cute. Maybe we could get to know him. Only in your dream, sister. Oh, it's Sam again. Hello. Hi, I brought some flowers for you. Thank you, Sam. Would you like to go for a walk? Right now, I'm not feeling <laughs> very well. <laughs> no problem at all. Another day. Get well. <sighs> How long will he keep trying to win me over, Susie? Well, Sam's a good boy. I know he's a nice guy, but I like him as a friend, not a boyfriend. <sighs> I really like the new guy. I like to get to know him. Emma, stop it. He's not a good choice. Mm -mm. Oh, just let me dream a little. <laughs> Go! <laughs> yes! Take this! Susie! Ugh. I wonder why they won't play with us. I guess they don't know how to play. Oh. <laughs> They're annoying. Emma, watch out! You... how did you do that? I'm just a good runner. 
That was fast. He got to her in a second. I can't stand Emma. Why is she always around Ethan? Well, I thank you so much. Too much. <laughs> Ethan, come over here. I'm sorry. I should go. I Goodbye. You. You. Ethan, I are you out of your mind? You. Did you forget what we talked about? Violetta, that's enough. I had to save her. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that Emma. I have to think of something to make him forget about her. What the heck are these ugly cakes? I want different ones! Brittany, what's wrong with you? I'm upset because there's something going on between Ethan and Emma. Maybe you imagined it? Did you even see the way they look at each other? Well, maybe I did. Hello, guys. Uh, hello? How did you get here so fast? You weren't at the cafe? It doesn't matter. I need to talk to Britney alone. Well, actually, secrets between friends are not okay. <sighs> You're gonna walk out of here now and won't ask why. Get it? I'll leave without asking any more questions. What's going on? All right. Listen, Britney, I need you to start dating Ethan. What? That is what you want, it's obvious. Well, yeah, but why do you need that? It's convenient for me too. Tell me, do you agree? Uh, alright, but he doesn't even look at me. Don't worry, I'm gonna take care of that. <sighs> I haven't dated anyone in 146 years. Why do I like this girl now? I shouldn't be feeling loved. This is so difficult. <sighs> Ethan is so cute, but his sister. It's like she doesn't want him and I to be together. Come on, give me the bag. <gasps> what? I said give me the purse. Stop, I don't have anything valuable. Don't lie, I know what's in it. Give it to me. <clears throat> don't touch her. Ethan! Who's this guy? Now you'll see. <laughs> Get away from me! <laughs> That's much better. Ethan, you... Tell me, are you scared? A little bit. Ethan, thank you. I'll always be here to help you. There's Ethan. I have to act quickly before this goes any further. He's such a sweetheart. I never thought you would like someone like that guy. I'm surprised too. He's really strange. Why is that? He's very fast, and his eyes are red, and his veins are marked under his eyes. That's very strange. I think I have to talk to him about it. Are you expecting someone? No. Well, I'll go get it. That's weird. What is this red box? A dress with an invitation? Who was that? I don't know, they just left an invite for a date. Wow, wow, wow! And who is it from? I don't know, maybe Ethan? Well, I wouldn't dismiss that option. <sighs> if it's really Ethan, this will be the best date of my life. I should go get ready now. Uh, I hope Ethan likes my outfit. <sighs> Sam? Emma, what's up? I've been waiting for you. It's a really nice place. Do you really like it? Sit down, the food will be here soon. Sam, you shouldn't have done it. <sighs> for a girl like you, I'd do anything. Sam, I don't really want you to get your hopes up. I don't like you and we can't be together. But maybe you can think about it. In time, maybe you might like me. No, I'm sorry. But what's wrong? I did everything for her, and she just left me. It doesn't matter, someday I'm going to earn her love. Now I just want to ask Emma out on a date. Uh, what's up, handsome? Brittany, what's up? Uh, where are you going? Oh, those are beautiful flowers. How did you know I like gardenias? Actually... You're such a romantic. Uh, maybe we could go for a nice walk. Cut it out. Give me those. They're not for you. Ethan! Sorry, and goodbye. 
I can't believe it. He could at least pretend he's glad to see me. It doesn't matter. He'll still be mine. Well, looks like I made it to Emma's. Ethan? Uh, Emma, I came to see you. With flowers, that's nice. I guess you like hydrangeas, huh? I do. Uh, Emma, even though you don't know me well, I came here to ask you out on a date. Okay, let's go. That way we'll get to know each other. Listen, why don't we do it now? Let's go. I like being outdoors. Really? Then let's run. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they really are amazing. <sighs> wow, sister, does this mean the date went very well? Awesome. I feel a little bad for Sam, though. What do you mean? What happened? Um, we still don't know. Listen, when I got to the date, Sam was there. Seriously? So he's the one who invited you on that date? Well, yeah, I left him and then I went out with Ethan. We went for a walk and then we kissed. <laughs> oh, wow. It was amazing. Does that mean that you're dating now? Well, I could say so. Oh, sister, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> So, Brittany, how is it going? Still nothing. I tried to talk to him yesterday, but I didn't succeed. Hey, girls. What's going on? It's not your business. Violetta, why are you being so rude? Let's go get a cup of coffee after school. Then forget about it for once. Susie, what about Emma? Why didn't you two come together? She was busy. Don't worry. She'll be here soon. Hey guys! What on earth is going on? Emma and Ethan are together? Uh-huh, they are in love. Brittany, come on, we need to talk right now. Whoa, sister, be careful! Uh-huh. Brittany, what did I tell you to do? But it's not my fault, he's only thinking about Emma. Ugh, it's impossible to trust humans. What did you say? Never mind, I'll take care of it myself. And you will follow my instructions, understand? I understand, and you could try to be nicer. This house is unbelievable. I'm glad you like it. Do you want to drink some juice? Well, that would be nice. Do you prefer cherry or pomegranate? No, I'll have cherry. Just wait here. I'll be back soon. These decorations are interesting. They look funny. Don't touch it. Violetta, what's up? What are you doing here? Actually, Ethan brought me here. It's a strange but cute kind of decoration. Emma, I brought the juice. Violetta? Hello, brother. What? You didn't expect to see me? Not really, no. You know, I think I should go. You should actually stay. But I wonder, did my brother tell you his little secret? Violetta, shut up. Ethan, what is he talking about? Listen, Ethan, you shouldn't keep that from her. Violetta! You know what? I think I'm gonna go. No, you should know that me and Ethan are vampires. What? Stop it. I just told you to shut up. And I won't listen to you. Ethan. Sorry, Emma. Ethan, wait, where are you going? I think everything is going perfectly. And I didn't have to make an effort. It seems now it's all up to Britney. Why did she do that for? Oh, Ethan, what's up? Why are you so sad? None of your business. Maybe it is. Listen, Emma doesn't deserve you. How could you know? I know. Ethan? What is he doing? <laughs> uh, what's wrong with you? You're crazy. Ethan, wait! Get away from me. 
You can run. You can't get away from me anyway. <laughs> hey, Emma. What's wrong? Why are you crying? Ethan, I just saw him and he was with Brittany. What? That's not possible. It is. And he was kissing her in front of me. I don't get it. And I also found out Ethan's a vampire. It doesn't matter anymore. Wait, are you serious? He's a vampire? That's awesome, Emma! I don't care now. You guys should really make up. You shouldn't lose a guy like him. No, Susie. The truth is I don't want to make up with him. I'll go to the cafe. I want to walk. All right, then I'll go do my homework. Or you'll go back to reading about vampires. What's the point of books if I live in a real story now? Um, but that is over. Nothing is over. You have to think. Come on, go. I don't even want to drink anything. Oh, Emma, hi. What's going on? Nothing, never mind. Listen, despite what happened, you can still talk to me. Thank you, Sam. Emma? What are you doing here? I've been looking for you. I need to talk. Well, I don't want to. Why not? Is this because of what Violetta told you? No, you're just a traitor. We'd better talk in private. Sam, can you leave? No, he's not going anywhere. Besides, we're dating. What? What you heard. So you have no place in my life anymore. Are you serious? That's right. You can live with Britney once and for all. Then I will. Okay, go. That's great. I got dumped for that fool Britney. Oh, so that's why you were upset. Um, listen, Sam, I'm sorry. I was just exaggerating when I said that we were dating. I understand. But I suggest you go back to Ethan. What for? <laughs> we could make him jealous so he knows who he lost. I'm not sure about that. Okay, let's give it a try. So she chose him. All right. Oh! Hi. Can I help you with the bags? Ethan, uh, why are you being nice to me? You say you only wanna be I just see you're having a hard time, I so I can help you. Uh, thank you. Listen, I was thinking we should go to school together today. Well, that's very unexpected. That's great. Hmm, perfect. Everything goes according to my plan. Soon Emma and Ethan won't even look at each other. Violetta, what are you doing here? Why do you care about that, Ben? Huh, are you spying on Ethan and Brittany? Is that so? Oh, I can't stand you. Listen well, you'll forget I was spying on them. I'm going to forget that you were spying on them. Perfect. Oh, Violetta, I think you're beautiful. Would you like to go out? Uh, hmm. Hey, what's wrong? <sighs> oh no. Whoa, sister, you seem to be a little angry. Um, yes, Susie, I am. Is this Tell me what happened. Tell me when it's over. Ethan thinks I'm dating Sam, and it's because I told him that. What? But why, Emma? Just because I was angry, and he was upset too. You should have made up instead of fighting. I don't want to make up. Okay, that's enough for now. We will see. She's proud, and so is he. Doesn't matter. I'll find a way for them to be together. Susie! Hey! Do you know where Brittany is? I don't care where your friend is. Okay. Oh, Violetta, hello. Sit next to me. Uh, thank you, Ben. Well, how are you feeling today? Uh, I am fine. Oh my god! Brittany and Ethan together? Yes, I'm so happy for them. Uh, Ethan, you're so amazing. And you, Brittany? Good morning, Sam. Come sit next to me. Of course, my dear. They're together. <sighs> Ethan, 
what's wrong? He was clearly hurt when he saw me with Sam, but he was with Brittany. Ew. Oh, no, no. Don't let it be, Sam. I don't want to see him right now. <sighs> Emma, I just saw you. Please, open up. What do you want? Ethan, I was just trying to tidy up my room right now. You were just hiding from me. No, I wasn't. Now tell me, why are you here? I actually came to talk. I want to fix things with you. I have nothing to talk to you about. We're not little kids. Ethan, I'm done talking. I'm with Sam. Emma! I don't know why I said all those things. Okay, Is looks like we'll never be together. Well, I think you would be the perfect couple. Hello, Susie. A vampire and an ordinary girl. That's the ideal couple. Wait, how do you even know that? Emma told me about that. No problem. I won't tell anyone. Thank you for that. Okay, now I just want you guys to make up. Come on, that would be great. That's what I want, but she won't even listen to me. I can help you with that. I've been watching a lot of vampire series, and now I know how you could win a girl's heart. Whoa, let's give it a try. All right, this is the plan. <sighs> Brother, I'm glad you finally realized you shouldn't be with Emma. Uh-huh. Hey, did you listen to me? Why are you so grumpy? Violetta, stop lecturing me. I'm going to do it until you understand that Emma is no good. Ethan! Oh, Violetta, what's up? Ben, what are you doing here? How did you get inside the house? Uh, the door was open. Here, I brought you some roses. Oh, I'm bleeding. Blood? Violetta, are you crazy or what? Do you want to ruin his life? Relax now, I'll let him experience the vampire life. Oh, cool. Don't you dare turn him. If you do that, you won't be my sister anymore, understand? Okay, okay. Violetta, wouldn't you like to convert me? No! <clears throat> How handsome. Okay, Emma, stop looking at his pictures now. We're not together anymore. Okay, what is this unknown number? Hello? Hello, beautiful. Good morning, who is this? We've met before. You probably don't remember me. But what's your name? Unmarked. I can forget you. That's what I want us to go out. I'm sorry, but no, I don't go out with strangers. But we know each other, trust me. You must come with me. Um, uh, well, text me the address and the time then. Oh, that's so weird. What's up, Emma? Who called? A guy I still don't remember asked me to go on a date. Oh, wow. I guess that's not bad. It could be Sam wanting to surprise me. Um, I really don't want to go. You have to go. You promised. That wouldn't be polite. Well, I'll text you the address just in case. Okay. It's just for a wow, moment. this is beautiful. Looks like Sam made an effort. Sam? Ethan? Yep, I set up this appointment. You're here. I'm leaving. Just wait. Do you really want to leave? No, I don't. But after everything you did... If you're talking about Brittany, she did it all herself. What? Did she make you do this? Yeah, that's exactly it. I fell in love with you at first sight. You? And why did you do that? It doesn't matter. The important thing is that I saved you. And I don't want to lose you. Ethan. Do you forgive me? Just this one time, but if you screw things up again, I won't forgive you. I get it. But what are we going to do about Sam and Brittany? We have to tell them everything. We don't have any other choice. Okay, we'll tell them tomorrow. And who could that be? Hi, uh, can you call Emma? Sam? Hello? She's, um, she's busy. Where? Uh, doing her homework. Okay, leave, leave. Uh, wait, she said she was going to help you with something. She's doing her homework, just uh, go! Wait, why do you want to kick me out of the house? 
I'm not in a good mood now. Come back later, okay? Go away. <laughs> There's something strange here. Uh, Emma, where were you? Sam, I, I was shopping. Oh, shopping? What did you buy then? I just went to buy chewing gum. I really like it. Emma, I can see you're lying. Why don't you tell me the truth? Well, Sam, I can't lie to you anymore. Listen, we're not together and I don't want to take revenge on Ethan anymore. Hmm, and why did you decide that? Because he and I are together. <laughs> I get it. Sam, are you upset? Come on, how could I be? I'm used to it. <laughs> Sorry. That's such a shame. Oh, what's up, Emma? I should tell you Sam was here. I know, I just ran into him. So then you told him that now you're with Ethan? Of course I told him. Wait, how do you know that we're together? Well... Susie? All right, I was the one who told him to arrange that date. And it all worked out. I already knew you would like it. Well, Susie, you're smart. I really liked it. Sam, what's up? I get it. Emma, don't worry. Give him some time. Everything will be fine. He will forgive you and you'll be friends again. I hope so. Oh, Ethan's here. I'm gonna go say hello. Uh, how are you, darling? Why didn't you wait for me? It's just that I hadn't done my homework. I can't believe you're doing this. Brittany, I'm sorry. I have to go for a minute now. Hey, where are you going? Um, wait for me. Ethan, we had a deal. I know. I wanted to dump her right now. Of course. But judging by the look on her face, you weren't even going to do it. Don't talk nonsense. Well, go to her then. I'm sure she'll be really, really happy to see you. Emma! Just go! <sighs> Brittany. Honey, there you are. How much more will I tell you not to call me that? And why not? You're a really sweet guy. <sighs> That's enough. Come on, we need to talk. About what? About us, come on. What's so urgent? Brittany, it's time for you to listen to me carefully now. Okay. I love Emma, and I've always loved her. I'm sorry I used you. Ethan, don't say that. Brittany, we can't be together. I'm sorry. What are you saying? Why are you picking her? Why are all the guys so stupid? I trusted him one more time and forgave him and he didn't even bother to leave her yet. Emma, don't cry. It's going to be okay. Nothing's going to be okay. But you will always have the best sister ever. That's true. Thank you, Susie. Girls, may I? You again. Ethan, what are you doing and how did you get in here? Emma, just let him talk. Thank you, Susie. Emma, listen, I broke up with Brittany, like I promised. How great. Emma, he's serious. You have to listen to him. I agree with your sister. And you? Okay. <laughs> ben, what's going on here? It looks like she's not well. <laughs> Brittany, what are you doing there? Ethan dumped me! <laughs> what? What are you saying? He said he loved Emma and would always choose her! I can see that. Ben, shut up! And was there no way to stop him? No, what can I do about that? You're a girl, you should have found a way. Nothing works anymore. He's in love with Emma, and there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> I can still take away the most precious thing of all. And what's that? Life. I'm happy to be with you. Me too.
too, Ethan. You're the best boy ever, and you're a vampire. It would be great if I wasn't. Why do you say that? You'll be handsome all your life, and I'll be old and creepy. Hey, don't talk nonsense. You'll always be the prettiest of all to me. That's what you say right now. That's what I always say. Well, we'd better not talk about it. I'll go for juice and come back to you soon. Will you get some juice for yourself? We'll see about that. He's an amazing guy. Okay, I'll get Susie's laptop. Ethan, is that you? Hey, that's enough. That's just not funny. Ethan! <gasps> hey, happy birthday, my dear. I can't believe my brother is already 200 years old. Thank you all for sharing this day with me. I propose to celebrate it with these glasses of blood. Cheers to me. Max, please, <laughs> give me back the notebook. Come on, come on. You'll come never on. get there. Oh, come on, you're so annoying. <laughs> Who the heck are you? Um, hi, I'm the new girl here. The new one? Nice to meet you, I'm Max. And I'm Sophie. Let's be friends. I really like new students, you know? Me too. She's a very beautiful girl. <laughs> um, well, who are those guys? Oh, those? Don't pay attention to them. You better just ignore them. They're the lead students of our school. Oh, uh, well, they're a little different. They're pale and they have very strange eyes. You better not tell them that. That's right. You also have to be very careful around All them. All right. Darling, we can finally have time alone. That's true. But in this school, there aren't many places to talk. Oh, those weird students are there. You look at me strangely. Is something wrong? Since there's no one here, I thought I might bite you. At school? And what if someone sees us? Don't worry, I just need a little of your blood. Hmm, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? Kissing her on the neck? Ew! <laughs> um, the truth is that he's very romantic and really cute. I would like to have a boyfriend like him. <laughs> Hello, everyone! What's up, my friend? I have to congratulate you on your first class at this school. Sit here. Well, that handsome boy is here too. Hey, Susie, can't you hear us? We're saying come sit on this side. Um, sure. Well, then I guess I'll sit down here. Um, you don't happen to mind if I sit right next to you? Um, what is she doing? I don't know, but I just want to know why she's looking so curiously at Martin. Oh, so you're jealous or something? Well, Susie's very cute. Maybe it would be nice to get to know her a little more. You know that Martin is not like us, so they won't be together. And we know that Martin is with Violetta. Well, yes. I shouldn't worry anymore. So handsome. Okay, I see you're all here. Time to start. Well, to start off, I'll tell you your grades from the last test. Sophie, A+, plus. Martin, F-. minus. Yeah. What? <clears throat> Did you mean I got an A+, plus? Oh, uh, okay. Alright, you're going to get an A+. Plus. <laughs> That's better. strange. Well, how did he do that? Martin told the teacher he wanted to change his grade. What was all that? Well, it seemed like some kind of hypnosis. What is happening now? How can that handsome boy run like that? It's not possible. I think I know what this is. <laughs> 
Well, it's time to look for that bug. Where is it? Huh. Here it is, the vampire bug. Vampires are beings with super abilities. Fast, smart, they have hypnosis and other superpowers. What if Martin is a vampire? Well, if that is true, then I guess I like him so much more now. <laughs> I'm definitely going to find out. <laughs> you can't even imagine how long I waited to eat this delicious meat. I love it. Um, <laughs> Alex, come on, eat carefully. <laughs> to be honest with you all, I only need a glass of blood, and I'm full for the whole day, you know? We agree, my dear friend. Um, here are these monsters. Too bad I have very poor eyesight and I can't see what they're drinking. But if that is blood, there's no doubt that they're real vampires. Susie, what are you doing? I'm just watching those guys. I told you before not to come near them. It's better to leave before they can see us. Hey! Why did all the meat run out so fast? I want to eat more. <laughs> yeah, little Alex has always been like this, right? <laughs> Well, Susie, what are you thinking? I didn't do anything wrong. I was just watching our classmates. You still don't understand that all of them are really dangerous. Yeah, then you must tell me what's going on with them. Maybe that way you'll convince me that they're all dangerous and I'll stay away from them, I guess. I can't do it. It's a secret. I can only tell you to be really careful. You're supposed to be my friend, so you should support me. Why do you need to know about those creepy guys? Well, to be honest, the truth is that I really like Martin. <sighs> well, don't ever say something like that again, do you understand? <clears throat> Martin already has a girlfriend. But I want to fight for love and for what I feel. Zip it. Listen to what I say. They're not like the two of us. And if you only have feelings of love, the best option is to have Max. But I don't like Max. I'm Martin. Greetings, girls. Oh, how are you, Max? You got here at the exact right time. I'm gonna go talk to each other now. Bye. Susie, are you excited about something? Oh, Max, maybe you can tell me what's going on with Martin and the rest of the guys. Me? I do not know nothing about that. Max, I beg you, just tell me what's wrong with them. I can't. In fact, I have to go now. Besides, you should stop asking those questions at once. Oh, but it's happening. I have to find out what they're hiding. There's so much information about vampires, I don't know what to believe anymore. He says it's hard for them to be with ordinary people. Maybe I'm wrong. And Martin is not a vampire. No, I still have to keep looking and find out. Um, well, in order for vampires to like you, they must first like your blood. Perfect. I have an idea. Well, there's Martin. I have to take this opportunity. What do I do so he can smell my blood from there? That's right. I hope it works. I'm not going to make it. I can't hurt myself. Maybe I should fall and hurt my niece or something. Okay, I got it. I think it's just what I need. <sighs> it looks like I made it. <laughs> what smells so good, Susie? What's up? Do you see it? I hurt myself and there's my blood. I can see that. 
just take a good look at me. I really like this lipstick. I think I look really beautiful. Uh-huh, for sure. Wait, what's wrong with you? Wait, now I have a strange feeling. <sighs> Violetta, what's up? Is it a vision? Um, wait, Martin is with a new girl. <sighs> I don't get it. What's wrong with him? <sighs> what is the difference? I'll just stay here fixing my face. You have an incredible smell and you are also so beautiful. How could I not notice you before? It seems to be working. <clears throat> Martin? Violetta? So, what are you doing talking to this ordinary girl? It was just for a little bit. You mustn't forget that you are with me. <sighs> and I am really jealous. <sighs> Stop yelling at me. <sighs> Come on, we need to have a serious conversation now. Oops, it looks like Martin and Violetta are really serious. And it means I won't be able to be with him. Guys, what do you think? Who should be with Martin? Should it be me or Violetta? Write in the comments! <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you are! Susie, today you'll come with us to have a lot of fun! It'll be great, I promise! I don't know, I'm not in the mood! I don't understand, what's going on? I hope it has nothing to do with Martin! Of course not! Susie, we just want you to be okay. There are things you still don't know about here. Uh-huh, so I have to remind you again that you should stay away from Alex, Maddie, Martin, and Violetta. Okay, I get it. Stop bothering me. Oh, um, she still doesn't understand this. Uh, I hope she doesn't get involved with them anymore. Okay, come here. <sighs> you know, that hurts. Guys, is there something wrong? Everything's fine. No, you better tell them who you were talking to a while ago. Martin? What is she talking about? Yeah, I was talking to Susie a bit, and what does it matter? What the heck did you just say, brother? Sister, you have to calm down. Martin, have you already forgotten that the most important rule prevents us from talking to humans? Or did you forget about the situation that happened with Violetta? Let me remind you then. Uh, I'm very scared. I shouldn't be alone at this hour in the library. Uh, what is that noise? Uh, ah! From that moment, she's a vampire. Besides, our master told us that we couldn't turn people into vampires or he's going to punish us. Have you forgotten about that? I remember it well. Besides, you have me. Violetta, we've been together for 10 years. By this point, I'm tired of you. What? What did you say? And what about our love? I am immortal. I want something new. Everything is just the same. If you're already tired of me, then why do we keep going out? I'm not holding you back. Uh, oh yeah? Well, okay. <laughs> but your letter! Yeah, silly boy, just run after her. Martin, what are you doing now? That's none of your business. In case you forgot, I'm your sister, and you should listen carefully to me. Violetta joined the family, and you just decided to change her for some ordinary girl? Stop bothering me. Stop that, Martin. Don't you think anymore? <sighs> the best thing I can think of is to leave. Oh, I have a very silly brother. <sighs> Why does he do this? How could he dare do this to me? <laughs> Violetta! Alex, is that you? Now just leave me alone. Uh, of course not. I told you once. I'll be with you always. Uh, tell me what happened. I'm not in the mood right now, okay? 
Go away! But I... I... <laughs> well, Alex, just calm down. I won't yell at you anymore. <sighs> Are you really not gonna yell at me anymore? Yeah, but just understand. I've been with Martin for 10 years and now he does this to me. Uh, he didn't do the right thing. I would love you very much. What's with that new girl? I cannot understand anything. Uh, I agree with you. Sure, the new girl. I have to teach her the rules. <sighs> okay, teach her. Uh, Violetta is amazing. Oh, Martin was lucky with her. Although, maybe this is better now that they are not together. I will have a chance. This school is getting more interesting every day. And I've only been here a few days. What's up? Violetta? Yeah, here I am. And you're very unlucky to be in the same place as me. What do you mean? What are you doing talking to my boyfriend, huh? Um, we were just talking. Shut up and remember something. Martin is mine and I forbid you to go near him, you understand? If I see you one more time near him... <laughs> I still don't know what I'm going to do with you next time. What are you doing here? I can see that you're bothering Susie, and I'm not going to allow it. I can't believe that you are defending her right now. But that is not your problem. <sighs> As you wish. <sighs> I don't get it. This scares me. Susie? What's going on? It was just... A slight dizziness. I'll be okay. Next time, be more careful. Wait, is this all about Martin and his friends? It doesn't matter. What did I say wrong? What am I going to do with my feelings? Now I'll just go home and read the book I have about vampires. <gasps> what is that? Okay. <sighs> What's going on? <laughs> Susie? What are you doing? If I let her find out that we're together, I don't know what she's going to do. If I am around, you don't have to worry. Sorry, I have to go now. Actually, I don't want you to go. Martin, it's not fair. You already have a girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend anymore, and besides, I wanted to ask you out on a date. Well, me? This will be the best day of your life. Jump on my back and let's go. Um, okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, sit down. This place seems really dark to me. I like it. Everything's comfortable. Okay. Hey, wait a second. Where are you going? Very well, I will serve you. Horrible. I don't want to drink. It's a very unique drink called Bloody Mary. No, I think I'm going to say no. Then I'll drink yours too. As you wish. And what are we going to do now? Or will we just sit around here? <sighs> Listen, there is something I want you to know. I hear you. I'm a vampire. <sighs> Um, I know it might sound weird. No, no, you're exactly what I thought you were. What are you saying? I already knew you were a vampire. You have abnormal speed and also big thirst for blood. And that's not bothering you? No, that doesn't bother me. I like that you're someone special, let's say. <sighs> you are an incredible girl. <sighs> I can't believe what happened. 
Martin traded me for that common girl. This is wrong. And really, the only thing I did was love him. Traitor. That's true. How could he dare betray us like that? We all have to respect the family rules and he just... Every time I see him, I don't even know what to do. Wait, now I can feel it. Violetta, what's going on? Uh, Violetta, is something wrong? <sighs> Martin is with that girl Susie again. Wait! You shouldn't think about Martin, calm down now. No, I have to prove to him that Susie is a mistake. Violetta, where is your pride? Now you have to calm down and think that everything will be fine. No, I can't calm down. I want to take revenge. I can also understand that my brother is a fool. He himself must realize that everything he is doing is wrong. But if you go where they are now, you'll only mess things up. He won't listen to you once again. But I want to go and ruin their date. Violetta, you have to calm down now. Well... I have to calm down and not think about Martin. Uh, I can't stand it. I still love him. And he's out there having fun with an ordinary girl. <laughs> Violetta? Uh, Alex, stop bothering me. Uh, sorry, I just decided to come here to support you. I really appreciate it, but I don't need that now. <gasps> How about we play? I know that you like that. Alex, I don't want to. <sighs> Oh, Violetta, come on! <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, Alex, enough. You're so funny, but I'm not having fun anymore. But why are you angry? I was having fun! <sighs> I've been with Martin for over 10 years. Why do you think I'm so sad? You shouldn't be like this. You have me now. What do you mean? That now I could be your boyfriend. Alex, you're a werewolf and I'm a vampire. That doesn't work. Do you understand? No matter the difference. That Martin guy doesn't deserve you. And I just want to be with you. I'm sorry, Alex. Oh, come on, Violetta. She believes Martin's better than me? <sighs> it doesn't matter. I'm still gonna make it. <sighs> Max, have you done your homework yet? What are you talking about? I'm just thinking about getting Susie's attention. I think you're in love. Okay, move out of here. <sighs> oh, they're very aggressive. By the way, guys, I suggest that at 6, we meet at our favorite cafe. Oh, very good. Violetta, will you go? I won't go. I'm not in the mood for that. Oh, if you're thinking about Martin, you'd better forget about him. By the way, I'm going to tell him to come with us too. Hmm, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those. Those. I don't get it. <sighs> yeah. Max, are you also seeing the fact that now Susie is also with Martin? I can't believe it. How did it happen? I won't have a chance anymore. Max, the truth is that I have to go now. I need to know what's going on. I'll never make it. <laughs> This is unacceptable! My brother is walking with that ordinary girl in public! Why? Why the heck did you do this to me? Don't worry, Violetta! I'll go talk to him right now! <sighs> I really don't want to say goodbye to you! Me neither, but in a couple of minutes the class will start! <sighs> it seems to me that I'm feeling in love again! I still cannot describe it. I'm also feeling love, as pure as a little girl. <laughs> Susie. I'm sorry, am I bothering you? No, I have to go now. Um, 
What's up? Don't you ever listen to what I'm telling you? Sophie, you can't even imagine. Now I'm very happy. Well, now explain it to me. I'm really in love with him. He's so kind and beautiful. And he's a vampire. So are you dating? Well, maybe we are. Or maybe we're not. But it's really all I want. Susie, don't you understand that you guys are really different? So what? Oh, it seems to me that it's going to happen all over again. What do you mean? Listen, Violetta used to be an ordinary girl too, but then she fell in love with Martin, and now she has to live her life as a vampire. And it's going to happen to you too. Well, I don't want to listen to you anymore. It's my decision. Susie, I'm your friend. That's why I'm here to warn you. I actually fell in love with Martin. There's nothing I can do. He'll be mine. Oh, I really hope it won't happen again. Uh, it's been a long time since I fell in love. I was very lucky to meet him. Everything is like a movie. A vampire with an ordinary girl. I can't believe that you're here. Violetta, what are you doing? I only came to have a snack. But now I'm going to eat you. Leave me alone. I haven't done anything wrong. Well, yeah. Okay. Now you're going to pretend you're innocent. You ruined my life. You saw my boyfriend and you took him away from me. And now I don't know what I'm going to do with you. What do I do now? What do I do now? Sure. Garlic. Oh, what is this? Garlic? Ah! I think it was good to read the vampire book. Now I know what they're afraid of. Can you believe it? That silly girl Susie. She could guess that we are afraid of garlic and she decided to throw a piece at me today. What? How could she dare to do that? We are vampires. We can't let her humiliate us like this. If we're going to attack her, I'm sure she'll be defended by Martin. That's right. We have to find a way to solve this. We have to think of something right now. Mm -hmm. That girl is very annoying. It's a familiar smell. Maybe it's Martin. I'm going with you. Oh, is it you? Martin, we need to have a serious talk right now. I have nothing to talk to you about. You better watch your words. Did you already forget that I'm your sister? I think that lately you don't think about what you say and what you do. And why are you two so angry? Now we are going to explain it to you. Come on. Sit down and listen to what I say. We are vampires, and that silly Susie is not like the rest of us. Violetta was also ordinary, and now she's not. She's your friend. It doesn't matter. But the principal of the school is going to decide to kick you out. You can't make her a vampire. I don't care. I already decided that I'll make her a vampire, too. That's enough. I already decided. You can't guard against it. Listen, Martin, what about our love? Our affection about me. We won't be together forever anymore. Martin, this is all very serious. Now we have to make decisions together. You can't bite someone because you want to or for love. We can't create any more vampires. Do you understand? I don't care about that. I don't care. I'm going to do whatever I want. I'm really sick of talking to you guys. <sighs> this is the end. Uh, this is not the end. We can still solve it, I promise. He's my brother. I can talk to him. I'm sure he will listen to me and everything will be fine. You don't have to worry. It seems to me that this will be useless. No, don't say that. There's still hope. Now we are going to talk and you'll be together again. Don't worry anymore, my friend, please. He could never trade you for that horrible new vampire, Susie. Don't you agree? Uh, okay, Maddie. Now I'm calm. I agree. I am very lucky to have a friend like you. <sighs> Susie, 
You are really beautiful. Thank you. That is what I was trying to do. By the way, thank you for inviting me here. Well, I really want to be with someone like you every day. No, every hour, every minute. You are very cute. Hey, wait a second. I think it's time for us to have a serious talk. Don't you think, Susie? I hear you. Did something happen? Well, no, nothing bad. I just want our relationship to become much more serious, and for that, I would need to bite you. Is there something wrong? Uh, why do you look worried? Does that mean that I'll be a vampire too? Yes, and it will be the beginning of our eternal oh, love. Well, are you serious? Yeah. What is it? Martin, I really like you a lot, but I have to go right now. I didn't understand. I thought she was going to accept it. Maybe she just freaked out of it. <sighs> I was really dumb. I think she's just scared. What if she does not accept? Martin. You? I'm not in the mood to talk to you right now. Okay. Even if you don't want to, now we need to talk. <sighs> okay, but hurry up. Listen, I don't want you to have anything with that Susie. I'm your sister, and you have to listen to me when I talk to you. I just told her that I want to bite her. What? And what did she tell you? She said she was going to think about it. In girls' language, that means no. You can't be happy. What? Oh, really? I cannot believe it. Well, it means that now you will be with Violetta, and it will be like before. That's not going to happen. Uh, Martin, why are you so upset? Is this all because of that Susie? I love that girl so much, but it looks like she's not ready to have a vampire boyfriend. So, you really love her very much? That's right. Martin, just give me your hand. Wait, right now I feel just like you, and it feels like you do have a crush on her and are very excited to be in a relationship with her. Oh, Violetta could never forgive me, but now I have to say it to you. Martin, run and do what you need to do to be happy with Susie. And what if she doesn't accept me? Don't worry, you have to take advantage of this opportunity. Now, go. I appreciate it, you're the best sister. because my brother has a true love. Guys, what do you think? Do you think Martin and Susie can be together? If so, leave a good like on this video. <sighs> Friends, is something wrong? Well, yeah, that's right. I can tell. It's because of Martin, right? You guessed it. I already told you that your relationship would not lead to anything good. What happened? Listen, just a while ago, something happened that I didn't expect. Martin said he wanted to bite me and turn me into a vampire. What? And now that's my situation and I don't know what to say to him. Friend, now I just have to ask you one question. What is it? Do you love Martin? love him. If you love him, then you must accept him. When I think about any of the options, I think of Violetta. Well, the truth is you just have to listen to your feelings. I appreciate it, friend. What would I do without you? Susie! Martin! Forgive me, Susie. I was just a fool. I rushed and scared you. I'm the one who should apologize. I've been thinking about it and I agree. Susie, you can't even imagine how happy I am right now. I really love you very much. You are really beautiful. Really? We're gonna be eternally together. I don't get it. Susie, what happened to you? Why do you look different now? It looks like I'm a vampire. She's my vampire. Martin, did you bite her? Uh huh. And now we are a couple. I can't believe this. I hate you. I feel a little bit bad. Don't worry. 
I was talking to Alex, and he still wants to be with her. And are they going to be together? Guys, we are here to celebrate something important. The new member of her family is my new girlfriend, and that's Susie. Um, hey, guys, I really love you all. I hope you love me too. Hmm, I don't think so. Violetta, why are you so angry? Alex, stop it. No problem, we're celebrating. For me, there are no reasons to celebrate. Susie, I am very happy to have you here with me. I'm going to be the best boyfriend for you, and I hope you're going to be my ideal girl. That's also what I hope, my dear. Of course it will. Uh, I can't keep watching all this. I can't take it anymore. Violetta? Alex, why do you always want to bother me? I also have to say that I'm happy because our family receives Susie, my brother's new girl. Now I have my brother, my best friend, and a sister-in-law. So that's good. Thank you, Maddie. No problem. Just listen. Every vampire that comes into our lives is part of the family, and that means we will be together forever. Do you understand? Susie, there is something else I want to ask. Will you please marry me? Sure, Martin, I agree. I really love you. <sighs> well, it's all over for me. Of course it's not over. What about me? Alex, I can't take it anymore. Why do you always want my attention? There is something I want to say. I love you very much. I have always wanted to be with you. What? You really love me? Uh-huh. Do you promise to always be with me? Of course! Maybe I should try... So? I think we can create a werewolf vampire relationship and then we could have a very nice and beautiful family. Yeah, okay! Oh, Alex! It's great to have you in my arms! <laughs> Alex, put me down! <sighs> I'm happy for everyone! Also, if everyone is fine, I will always be happy. Now, I only need a partner. Guys, we have to celebrate that the boys found true love. Now it's time to leave a big like on this video. Subscribe to the Amigos Forever channel. Why are you looking at me? Did something happen? Bye. It's delicious. I want to keep eating. <laughs> Again. Action. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Susie, uh, come on. <laughs> Action. You're new, and there are things you still don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> Very good. <laughs> uh, I can understand. <laughs> Come on! I understand what my brother did, but you... Stop laughing! Action. Action. Come Action. On. 